what's what's the focus for the Python session? Okay, so if anyone wants to, and by the way, uh, we don't have to do a Python session if people are not, but we like to have uh, diversity of Smaller groups. opportunities and, and knowing that there are diversity of interests uh, at Dick Pollock. So uh, we're going to be doing a basic intro to IPython Notebook, which is a really great uh, interactive computing environment uh, for data exploration uh, using uh, a few like uh, Python libraries, including one called Pandas. All of this sounds really, really boring. Uh, so in order to make it interesting, we will also be uh, working with the data that uh, you guys just checked out so that you have some uh, some context with the, the data we're working with. Do you want so, to show what that type on the screen is on the screen? Yeah. Um, so actually go to NP. Or is it NP? NP. IPython.org. Um, and click on, let's see, what are some of the more cool, awesome ones? Uh, scroll down a little bit. Actually, just, um, actually, yes, go down a little bit. Uh, XKCD oh. plots in that plot loop. Yeah, so if everyone's uh, read XKCD, uh, you know that uh, they've got, not only is he hilarious, but he also does some really, really great plotting. Uh, so there's actually a Python library that allow you to turn any of your plots into XKCD sketches. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, so this is what a typical IPython notebook looks like. It allows you to have, uh, it allows you to write Markdown. Um, so you have a really, really nice markup language, uh, and it's that's really, really easy, dead simple to be able to comment your code uh, and really have literate programming. Um, embed links, images, etc. Here he's embedding an image, right? But you scroll down and you have these code blocks um, that allow you to do, uh, run code within the browser. Right. Um, scroll down a little bit more, blah, blah, blah. And then you have larger code blocks as well. So it's uh, it's got a whole bunch of features. We're going to go through them, uh, not in a lot of detail, but we'll do kind of a whirlwind tour uh, of features to allow you to see how great it is as an interactive program environment to uh, be able to explore data while in the browser um, with all the, the uniform kind of interactive environment uh, uh, niceties that that gives you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we have like a um, census, um, like uh, for the R session? Yeah. I, I guess. Oh. Intro to R, or is it like? It, it, it'll probably be relatively intro, like in terms of, but it, it'll move with the speed of the group. Uh, and, and these guys have seen, you know, like some of the, yeah, you know, like, like basic like interaction stuff. So loading data, cleaning, looking at the structure, creating variables, running regression, extracting results, exporting. Uh, so we should mention they're concurrent. Right? So you can either do one or the other. No, and since you get bored in mind, you can go back to the R1. Yeah. I'll take you. <laughs> so we have three takers, right? You guys? Oh, I didn't know it was concurrent. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm totally different things off. I have to go to whatever. Yeah, it's so, you can all do the R session. I'm actually really interested in the R session. Oh, well, now, I mean, if we have smaller rooms, then we, uh, I, I'm interested in IPython, so we'll switch. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll go to yours, you go to mine. Yeah, okay. right. Um, well, I, I mean, we would have smaller rooms if we split up, yeah, which means more touches on the keyboard and above the recording, so. I'm okay. good. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which is the other room that we'll break into? Uh, we'll go into this room. Yeah, so IPython over there, R over here. Uh, okay, let's give it like 10 minutes, grab another bite to eat, grab a glass of wine, uh, and we'll slowly uh, get it going. I'm, I don't see these, there's not, because it's very hands on. Yeah, uh, uh, how do I put myself in this guy? Yeah. yeah. Um, Exactly. Okay, you're there. Oh, right. Like if you open. Oh, good for you, man. That's so cool. Um, maybe not. Oh, but not a power plug. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I know what you're saying. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I actually know what you're saying. I've never. Wow, I've never seen. I don't know what it's called though. Like a VGO. Yeah. Okay. So for those watching the entire live stream video, I don't record these mostly because. It's a very hands-on experience, and it's hard to translate over video. Uh, mob programming is essentially one laptop. They set the timer for five minutes. 
someone jumps on the computer, starts doing something, timer goes off, and they switch. It's very interactive. It's a very fun way to learn uh, programming. It just doesn't look good on video. So I'm going to cut it off here um, and invite you to the next Data Potluck. So Data Potluck is at meetup.com slash Data Potluck. If you want to participate, even if you know nothing about data science or R or Python or anything we're talking about, come to Data Potluck. We'll teach you all that. And at that point, good night. Yeah, I mean, it's.